What's up, folks? Welcome back to another episode of Nick is trying to destroy his cell phone with my OnePlus 7T. Today we're going to be flashing Lineage OS for Micro G. This is a pretty cool installation of Lineage OS. It is official and it should come with Micro G pre-installed, which mimics Google services. It does send some information to Google, but it's likely more limited than Google Play. Before we get started, we're starting off from an unlocked bootloader state. If you haven't done this yet, there's a card in the upper right hand corner that'll show you how to unlock your bootloader. Just go over and click the link. This phone is running the latest Oxygen OS using Android 11. Do not do this unless you're willing to destroy your phone. If you follow this channel, it looks like I'm trying to do that. But with that said, most errors are recoverable, but Almost everything that you do to your phone, like I'm doing today, is going to erase everything on it. So make sure to take excellent backups before you even consider doing anything like this. And remember that some mistakes are unrecoverable, however rare those are. Links are in the description, as usual. And what we'll need is Lineage OS with Micro G. And we can see in this folder right here, we've got Lineage OS with Micro G. We need Lineage OS Recovery. That's covered there. We need Lineage OS copy partitions. For Windows users, you're going to need to download the latest ADB and Fastboot. And I'll leave a, a link in the description down below that is as up to date as I can get it as of time of posting. I do try and keep these links up to date on my videos, but sometimes they do fall out of date because the thread isn't updated at the header. So you kind of have to go to the last page of that XDA forums thread to find the correct ADB and Fastboot for Windows users. If you're on Linux, you just have to install Android tools and because we're the cool kids running Linux, our OS keeps Android tools up to date for us. And we will need a terminal window. I will be using console, which comes with KDE. With Windows, you can use CMD or PowerShell, your mileage will vary between them. I've heard various things in comments and threads about which one works better and when, but if you are on Windows, the way that you open a PowerShell is you go to the appropriate folder and you shift right click and it, you'll see an option for PowerShell. For CMD, you'll go up to the top where you have the file navigation area and you will type in CMD, or the better way to do this would be to Click the Windows key, then type in CMD, right click and run as an administrator, and then navigate to the appropriate folder. For Windows users, you probably will have to throw your ADB and Fastboot tools into this folder where all of these applications are. Otherwise, you'll need to add ADB and Fastboot to your environmental variables, which is a little bit more complicated. So I'd recommend just throwing that stuff right in the folder with Lineage OS. Optional. But recommended, I recommend that you pull up the instructions from the Lineage OS wiki. We have that right up here. We're going to follow right along with this. All of my files in this folder have been MD5 sum or SHA256 hashed. So I'm not installing any backdoors on my phone. I don't do any banking on my phone. But it's always good to be safe because you never know what kind of metadata you're giving away. I recommend you do the same. I did that all off screen in this case. And you can see the last one that I hashed is up here right here in Linux. This is nice. SHA256 sum and then the directory for Lineage OS with micro G is on my computer. I did the other ones off screen. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do, we are in a bootloader unlocked state, but we need to flash the latest recovery. So I'll pull up console. And I need to be super user or running with root permissions. Otherwise, I'll need to type in sudo before every command because I'm on Linux. So I'll just go ahead and promote myself to super user. And we can clear. And I will type in adb reboot bootloader. This should reboot us to bootloader, but the phone may... Oh, I missed a step. So the first thing that you need to do before you can type in that command is you need to go into settings. And we'll see if I have developer mode unlocked. I do not. So you need to go into about phone and then 
type the build number, tap the build number seven times. Now it says we're a developer, you go back, you go to system, click on developer options, and then we go down the screen until we see USB debugging, go ahead and tap that, and hopefully at this point it will say allow USB debugging where you can click always allow from this computer and then click allow. If that didn't come up right here, which sometimes it does not, when we type in ADB reboot bootloader it will come up and it will hold your phone from rebooting unless you do it really quickly. So we go ahead and type that in and we will go into the bootloader. Now that it's rebooted we can type in fastboot devices per the instructions on the Lineage OS website and we can see that our device is connected. Now we can flash the recovery. I'm going to get a quick list of file names right here. Paste. So from the instructions, fastboot flash recovery. We're going to copy this one right here. Lineage OS 18.1, the one that ends in recovery. Once we hit enter, it should flash the recovery to the phone. Perfect. Now hopefully at this point you're going to be able to tell that I've done this way too many times. And the reason why I've done it too many times is because I was running T-Mobile firmware and the SIM card will not be recognized if you're running T-Mobile firmware. This next part says to reboot by shutting down and then typing in volume down and power. We are going to do this, but when I was running the T-Mobile firmware, it required me to type in the power button plus volume up because I think there is a typo in these instructions. Right now it's just going into the recharging screen. Cool. So I'm going to do power button and volume down. Okay, so it does actually work if you're running the proper firmware. If you hit the power button and volume down, that means you're running the T-Mobile firmware and your SIM card will not work. You're going to need to convert your phone to the global firmware. I'll leave a card in the upper right hand corner right here to my video that I made on that if you are running a phone that will not install Lineage OS properly. This is the Lineage OS recovery that we're looking at right here. And the next part is pre-install instructions. This is for copy partitions. And I think what this does is it just makes sure that A and B partitions are the same so that when you flash Lineage OS you don't have any kind of problems. I've actually done some flashing without following this step that doesn't create any kind of problems, but I think this is precautionary from the Lineage OS team. What it's recommending is we download the copy partitions file and then we sideload it by going into recovery and then going into apply update it looks like and then apply from ADB. Now from the machine we can do ADB side load copy partitions cool for our next steps we need to go back and go to advanced and then reboot to recovery and really we're almost done this is a pretty painless process as long as you know how to unlock your bootloader which I've done dozens of times on this phone. It wants us to download the latest Lineage OS installation package or build it yourself. Building it yourself actually sounds kind of interesting because I've seen other ROMs out there that have better hardware support for the OnePlus 7T. I just don't know how the over-the-air updates would work, if they'd work very well at all. Saying if you're not in recovery, we're following these steps verbatim, so we are in recovery, but like we covered earlier, volume down plus power. It wants us to do a factory reset. Sometimes you actually have to do this after installing Lineage OS also. Format data and factory reset. So we'll just follow this and wipe the phone completely. Return to the main menu. And then go into apply update. Apply from ADB. And much like when we installed copy partitions, we are going to sideload Lineage OS. And these instructions are ADB side load. And then we're going to pull this one right here. Lineage OS 18.1 micro G hot dog B. 
hit enter. It says, don't worry about ADB failed to read command success. So it looks like an error, but no big deal. It looks like everything was successful and it's recommending that at this point if we wanted to install additional add-ons that we would click advanced reboot recovery and then apply updates for any kind of add-ons. The last part I think we need to reboot the phone. This will be the moment of truth. We'll see if Lineage OS runs. If not I will run another format on the phone at which point we should be able to get into first boot. Boom. That looks good. That looks like Lineage OS to me. Make sure. Okay, Micro G is installed. And we'll go up to self check. It looks like signature spoofing should be operational on this out of box because everything is checked. Normally if you're running micro G you need to check all of these boxes down here and then only if your ROM supports it can you select these additional options at the top. That will require additional testing before I can confirm though. Before we close out I'm going to pause the video right here and throw my SIM card into the phone and make sure that network service is working. And it's confirmed. You can see the little network meter at the top. Shows that I'm connected to T-Mobile. So this phone is good to go. Since I now have the international firmware running, I will probably purchase a double SIM card tray because the international versions allow you to put in two SIM cards and Right now, I would really like a second phone number connected to a single phone. I am planning on switching back to this as my daily driver in the near future. And when I do make that transition, you can look out for a Calyx OS install video for my Pixel 3 XL that I pick, picked up off of whoop.com. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm always excited to hear from you guys and to assist in any way that I can. Thanks for stopping by. This is Nick, signing out.